So we've crash landed here, here in the middle of GDC with James from the Creative Assembly to learn a little bit more about something new because you guys have a lot of different things going right now at the Creative Assembly. Things you're not really talking about that we sort of know about, the Aliens game and Warhammer, but now you're revealing something entirely new here at GDC. Can you just tell us a little bit what that is? Yeah, so today we announced um, Total War Arena, which is a free-to-play, multiplayer-exclusive online game. Um, so in Arena, um, we have up to 10v10 battles, so each player controls just three units. Um, and so we have, you know, you have a huge army, uh, huge battles, multiplayer battles, but you're only controlling just three units. So you, you, you have to perform a very specific battlefield role. You have to cooperate, you have to unite to win. Um, and you know, Arena is all about multiplayer action. So it's got a, a much more kind of focused um, design philosophy. Um, and it's going to be free to play. And the reason for that is that we really want to take multiplayer for Total War to the next level. Um, we want fantastic team-based battles where you know one player might play the role of you know some archers concentrate on ranged attack whereas you know another player might want to you know, focus on cavalry another player might might want to focus on a mix of different troops and maybe they'll choose to defend the archers it's all about cooperation uniting to win um, and it, you know it's it's online multiplayer game um, so it's really exciting for us because it's all about taking taking multiplayer to, to the next to the next level and having a huge um, a huge player audience. That's that's what we really need to make a truly successful multiplayer game, right? We need a massive community. We need um, we need a really engaged community and balanced matchmaking. Absolutely needs a huge player population, and, and that's the real reason why um, why we want to make Arena free to play. So we can really take multiplayer to the next level. We can keep it as a as a service and keep updating it, keep putting new content in as we go. Um, so it's a it's a it's a very different product. Yeah, it, it sounds very different. Is, is it a is it a mode that sort of grew out of experiment er, experimenting with multiplayer in the, in the sort of the main series? Well, you know, I should absolutely emphasise that you know the studio as a whole. We're working, we're working really hard on getting Rome Two um, out there, right? And we're really proud of it so far. We still, we need to, we're still finishing it off. Um, it's going to, you know, we are absolutely determined to make it the best Total War game ever. Um, and absolutely, um, Rome Two will feature the um, you know core multiplayer experience that you'd expect. So we've got one v one campaigns, multiplayer. We've got co op campaigns. Uh, multiplayer campaigns we've got 1v1 battles in multiplayer all the way up to 4v4 but i think it's fair to say that the, the the core total war experience is fundamentally designed around around an epic single player experience so we've got these you know campaigns that take many many days of gameplay to finish the battles are biggest and best when you're playing with 20 units in big army against another big army so it's more of a 1v1 experience um, so absolutely we'll support that core total war experience and we'll keep making great single player total war games with these multiplayer elements but Total War Arena is a it's a different product to create team-based multiplayer, which is all about all about cooperation. So the battles are you're much more focused in. Um, you're controlling these three units, and we're experimenting with all sorts of different ways to make that gameplay really full of skill and activity. Uh, and that's that's an interesting challenge. So we're we're we're, we're, we're making some fundamental changes to the to the combat mechanics um, to create this. Um, effectively an MMO, a Total War MMO. So, you know, what you do in, in Arena is you you have, you know, your, your commander and you, you choose a few units and you upgrade your units with the rewards that you earn in battle. And so, and that will give you, eventually get you access to the to, to higher level units and so on. Um, and what we want to do in Arena in terms of, um, you know, people are always worried about monetization. That's the sort of dirty word when you're talking about free-to-play game. But our focus uh, in Arena is on um, premium enhancing the player, the speed at which the player gets their rewards out of battle. We don't, we, we, we don't want to block content off, right, for people that don't pay. We don't want to have a lot of, you know, a load of premium content. Our goal is to make the vast majority of content available to everybody for free so long as they earn it, right? We also don't want to have you know, pay to win distortions. Total War battles are all about, you know, really great balanced battles and we, we, we don't want free to play, sorry, pay to, uh, pay to win distortions. I said free to play distortions. 
we don't we don't want pay to win distortions in the battles. It's a really it's a really important point because the you know the battles live or die on on being balanced and creating that real reward for skill, um, and we absolutely want to want to keep that in arena. So we don't want these pay to win distortions. Um, so like I said, our, our focus on monetization will just be about letting you upgrade your you'll, you'll be able to upgrade your your um, units and your leaders faster than you would otherwise but you'll still be able to get all that content even if you don't even if you don't pay so you know i think it's a great you know a free to play game really lives or dies on engagement on, on creating great gameplay you know you you you, you that's a, that's essential uh, and so we think it's a great way to get as many people as possible playing arena playing multiplayer playing total war battles in a in a in a context that is designed for multiplayer from the ground up um, and so we're really excited so you mentioned a little bit about, about sort of the, the framework of it, how you sort of engage the player, the meta but game. the yeah. meta game, yeah. yes. And uh, what, what's the theme here? What, what's the thematics and sort of what are you trying to do there? Yeah, so, you know, obviously outside the battles, the player is upgrading their units, so, you know, equipping them with items and trying to make them better for the next battle, right? Um, now, our vision for Arena overall is absolutely to mix different commanders and different um, armies from different eras of history so absolutely we'll we'll keep a broad um, historical theme you know we're not planning on you know introducing fantasy elements or anything like that but we do want to have that that mix of, 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 of commanders and, and fighting styles from different periods um, ultimately right now um, because Arena is a free-to-play ongoing service, we're going to keep on supporting it and building it, building the community way, way after launch, right? So we're going to be adding that content in um, as we go in the future. Now, we, we, we will start, um, you know, around the, the ancient world, you know, so we'll have Roman commanders, Greek commanders, that kind of thing, right? Um, but our, our vision is, is ultimately to have, have a mix of commanders from across history, um, so it's 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 really exciting, you know. The, the, you sort know of a dream dream match there for for total war players. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, you know. Um, I, I think it's it, it it's it's just really exciting because it allows us this flexibility to keep producing new content constantly because it is an it is an ongoing it is an ongoing service, um, and just the fact that it's it's free to play is, is it's it's a big deal for us. But we're just excited that it can it can take take the audience to the next level for multiplayer. It's 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 perfect because multiplayer needs continual balance. You know, you need to you need to keep upgrading it, up, updating it, making sure the balance is just right, responding to the community, and having a sort of ongoing service rather than a sort of box product with a launch date. Um, even though you can support those after release, it's it's not it's not the same thing. This this allows us to just you know have this online service that's just that's just continual. So how how is does uh, creating a game like this that's going to be a continuous service change the sort of the 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 team structure, if you will, at at the creative assembly? Well, you know, while the core Total War team is, you know, which is a very big team, has, has been really working away and, and making Rome 2 the best it can be, we've had a very small um, separate um, team working on Arena in the background for about a, for about a year now. Um, now, you know, obviously there are a host of challenges creating an online free-to-play game like, like Arena. So there's obviously technical challenges with creating an, an online um, arch uh, architecture infrastructure for the game. Um, arbitration and that kind of thing. Um, obviously, there are there are operational challenges. You know, well, well, plenty of those. But in terms of the design challenge, that's what we've been really focusing on in the first instance. Really, you know, we're still in the phase where we're experimenting. Um, we're trying out a whole bunch of different things to to make sure that the the, 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 the gameplay requires just as much skill and activity when you've got control of three units versus Core Total War where you've got control of 20. So because of that difference, we, you know, you, you, you're going to have tighter, more direct control over your, over your troops in Arena. Um, because we need to make sure that it's, it's just, it takes just as much skill, in fact more, to play Arena, right? Uh, it's got to be a game of, it's got to be a game of skill. Um, so that that means some fundamental changes to the to the combat mechanics themselves. So it's it's a really interesting time. We're experimenting with exact exactly how we're how we're doing that. Um, so the team is very small, very focused. Um, you know, it hasn't hasn't yet ramped up to the kind of full production. No, the the, the core Total War team is absolutely building building Rome two, getting that done and making. Yeah, you know, we're still we absolutely need to make that the best Total War game ever. So, uh, what's the roadmap ahead with Arena? I, I, do you plan to invite players to sort of to get their feedback and sort of shape the game, or, or is it? Or what's the roadmap ahead? Yeah, I, I mean, 
Absolutely. I said we're still in a, we're, we're at a phase now where we're experimenting, trying all sorts of different things. Um, we are absolutely wanting to to get as much feedback from the community as we can. We want to involve them in the in the process. You know, you can go and register your interest. Uh, it's at totalwar.com slash arena. And, um, you know, the thing is, it's not even just a pre-launch thing. Uh, it, it, we really, really need a thriving multiplayer community uh, to make to make this work. And so, we you know, we're going to want to keep that relationship going and really build that community um, that is an arena community. And that, that'll need to keep going, you know, beyond launch indefinitely as we keep dropping in content, making the, getting the balance better, you know, adding features. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Cool. Thanks very much indeed. Cheers. Good to meet you.